Hello, it's Thursday, February 6, 2014, and this is Geek Revolt Live. Now, this episode is a little bit different today. Uh, I'm not streaming any gameplay today because uh, I'm a little pressed for time, but I did want to talk about uh, the biggest gaming story of the day, which is Sonic Boom. Uh, it's a new Sonic game and Sonic uh, TV show that's coming to Cartoon Network sometime this year and now so Sega announced a game it's developed by Big Red Button um, you know and it's just a studio made up of um, some people who worked on Uncharted over at Naughty Dog and they worked on Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Dexter so uh, Sonic Boom the game it, it actually has some PlayStation DNA in it and it's actually one of the uh, first Western Sonic games because it's being developed by a Western studio, so it's almost like a spin off. And you know, and it also uses uh, CryEngine and it's exclusive to the Wii U. But now, as you can see, they kind of change uh, the character designs. Now, the thing that sticks out, uh, that sticks out first, like a sore thumb, is Knuckles. Like, what the hell did they do to Knuckles? I mean, he looks like he looks like such a bro now. It, it's like he's all beefy and just you know he's like some type of like he's just a bro. He's all tall and it, it's like what the fuck did they do to him? You know, and Sonic and he seems taller. His legs are longer. Everybody has bandages um, <laughs> wrapped around their hands and their feet. You know, tails got a wrench and you know Amy or I forget her name she looks kind of you know she looks more attractive than normal so yeah, you can see they, they just yeah and, and Sonic I don't know what's up with that scarf it's like he's kind of rocking a little Nathan Drake thing from Uncharted 3 I, I don't know who decided to put a scarf on Sonic so yeah, that's really what the outrage is right now. Everyone is just looking like, really, Sega? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Why are you trying to... Um, they're constantly trying to reboot Sonic. But I think this one, uh, Sonic Boom, I think it's going to turn out a little differently than all the other Sonic reboots because, like I said, it is made by a Western studio. Um, you know, some of the guys behind Uncharted you know, Ratchet, uh, Jack and Dexter. So obviously the people behind this game, they can make good, you know, like platformers and other games. So I think, uh, you know, I think this has a chance to probably be one of the best Sonic games in, um, in a while, you know, but yeah, uh, it's just, you know, so I'm saying um, cautiously optimistic for it. Let me see. I'll show the trailer. I don't know if you guys have seen it already, but let's see. Let's check out the trailer. What exactly is this place? This is paradise. Check this out. A secret room. dubstep 
Uh, said I'm cautiously optimistic for the game. Uh, it'll probably turn out better than Sonic Lost World, and you know, I, I still don't like that scarf. I think he kind of looks like a douchebag. Honestly, I, I think that was a bad idea. But yeah, you know, hopefully it turns out good, and it's exclusive to the Wii U, and there's a 3DS version in the works, and you know, there's also the cartoon or. Uh, the 3D animated show that's coming to uh, Cartoon Network next year. I won't watch the show, but I'll definitely check out the game. And, you know, more Wii U exclusives are always a good thing. And I, one thing that I wouldn't mind seeing Nintendo do something similar, just hand Mario over to a Western studio and see what they can do with it. Uh, you know, and we might see that because... Uh, during that Nintendo investor meeting, they did say they're going to open some of their games up to uh, licensing, uh, so some of their characters, so we could see, you know, a Mario TV show or, you know, a Mario game like this made by a Western studio, which really isn't a bad idea. I know some, um, you know, some purists, they'll say, hey, we don't want, you know, Western studios making a Japanese um <laughs> making games that originally uh, were made by Japanese developers like DMC and all that stuff. But hey, I'm open to it. You know, I'm always down for new things because honestly, the Japanese Sonic games, they're kind of mediocre. So hey, you might as well let a Western studio take a stab at it. I mean, what the, you know, what's the worst that they can do? But anyway, guys, this was just a really quick episode of Geek Revolt Live. Um, Actually, it wasn't really even live. It's kind of pre-recorded. But, you know, whatever. I'm still going to keep the name Geek Revolt Live. Anyway, but thanks for watching. Uh, tell me what you think about Sonic Boom in the comments. And I'll see you next time tomorrow. And I'll have a real episode, you know, with some real gameplay. And it'll be longer than seven and a half minutes. But anyway, guys, see you later. Peace out.